Hi, this is EOB training for Adobe Acrobat DC to show you the basics of how to use it. First of all, you can go ahead and just double click on the icon and that will open it. Another way you can do that is by going to the folder where you have your PDFs and just double click on those on one of those. Okay, go ahead and open it. You see all the folders that you have in there and then just double click it and it opens up in Adobe PDF Pro, Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Um, then once you've done that, the other way to open it is by going in and clicking the icon again, double click it, it opens it up, go up to file, then open. Once you're in file, then open, just choose one of them, one of the uh, PDFs inside the folder. I would say the one where that you want to put in first you don't have to but it's actually a good idea and then go ahead and click open and open that one up once you've opened it go into organize pages organize pages is on the right hand side a little more than halfway down alright so you have your four in here now a uh, number of things that we can do here is if there's a page that is upside down you can just click on the page and go up to here where it says rotate and turn that page right side up if you have a need to rotate all the pages Let's go ahead and click off to the side here, hold your cursor down, and move across to your right until all of them are highlighted, and then go ahead and click that arrow again and turn them right side up. Now, to insert new pages, just go ahead and click Insert, go to File, From File, which you want to insert it from a file, and go down to where it says Practice Number 2, or it's where mine is, all the way down to Number 7, and hit Shift, Click and it'll highlight all of those. Hit open and it gives you this particular screen. Now the screen says that you want to put everything after number two. Well, no we don't. We want to put everything after number four. So let's go ahead and change that to a four. Okay, and then say okay. So we want everything after number four. So you have five through ten going after number four. Now another thing is this that if you decide that one of these pages is not something you want in this file maybe you opened up April but yet you got uh, Jennifer instead go ahead and click on one of these guys and just click the trash can and it'll delete it now if you do for some reason have a, um, a W9 that you want to, to save in a different folder just so you have W9 from that particular organization uh, or, or rental place go ahead and click that particular file that particular page go up to here where it says extract you want to extract that page to you want to extract pages to a separate file okay because you want to keep it so you go ahead and click extract and then you open up your folder to that page I have mine in test video training not that one in video training our training videos here we go, you'll be training videos. And go ahead and open it up in that folder. In that folder I have a file called W9. Let's go ahead and click W9. And OK. Now this will send that page there. Okay. It will send that page to this folder. You see W9's right here? I already practiced this, so we got a couple of W9's in there now. So if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me at any time. My name is Brian Reese. I am a technical trainer here at the EOB. Have a great day. Thank you. There will be more to come. Oh, make sure that once you uh, put the additional pages in there, you do want to hit save. Otherwise, it won't save it. Okay, so go ahead and click save, and you're good to go. I will go ahead and click save so you see what happens. And then once you've opened the folder, on the other side you'll see that all the pages are in there number one now has eight pages okay thank you very much and have a great day bye bye